Hello guys, this is Engineer Vakas Ahmed and I welcome you all people on this platform www.theskillsage.com. Today's session we are going to have very important concept understanding oil well construction project plan on Primavera P6. A lot of guys ask me that we are enthusiastic, we want to join oil and gas field. So I make these videos to make you understand how you can develop your skills keeping this thing in mind that how oil and gas work and uh, projects and operations are going on so moving on to the next slide this is going to be very extensive and very explained one uh, uh, basis on the real industry data so here we have the first point oil and gas discovery is often an exciting moment for international oil companies and countries as a positive discovery it will lead to economic output which the country can rely on and uh, where IOC experience and huge sigh of relief that money has not been wasted down the drain actually oil and gas sector culture is different from other projects so that's why I'm giving you the background so how you can understand when you will find uh, you know these petroleum products under the earth after having uh, too much investment then it will give you a relaxation that your money is not in the waste or in dustbin you will find you will make hundred or thousand times better benefits out of it so the that's why these projects are different from the usual construction projects moving on to the next slide the petroleum resource project life cycle while having uh, similarities to the project management institute project life cycle differ in many ways like we have a project management application in oil and gas field but we have different scenarios why because start from identification oil and gas field is not something you want to construct a building you want to have some road you want to have some power plant it's different why first you have to make identification first you have to carry out some seismic surveys then gaining legal access may be that uh, identification that existence of oil and gas products are in some city area so you need to negotiate with you know the gaining legal access to explore and develop generation and analysis of appraisal data okay so the next point uh, analysis of exploration discoveries commercial arrangements final investment decision these are the importance which uh, impo these are important steps you need to take before getting start this project and then field development and field production so all these things you should keep in your mind while having this understanding and concepts moving it can also be broadly classified into discovery development and implementation you can make three deliverables a discovery development and implementation and moving on to the next slide here we can have Project life cycle analysis is therefore important as it not only determines the operating parameters of a project such as timeline, required pipelines, platforms or wells, utilities, infrastructure but also the feasibility of the find and assist senior executives in having a huge level overview of the progress of a particular project and uh, here work breakdown structure how you have scope management for a planning engineer perspective we need to focus how we can convert raw data how we can convert our discussions our meetings our deliverables into a project management oriented scope statement so that on that scope statement we can make our project planning programs and here we have the WBS history is very important for all of you guys the WBS metric concept was first developed by Bashi and Hamari in 1997 a WBS can be applied to ensure a hierarchical decomposition of the total scope of work to be carried out by the project team to accomplish the project objectives and create the required deliverables and is a hierarchical representation of system levels. I will explain each and everything one by one and here you can have WBS can be applied either through a top down or bottom up approach and can be identified as first phase in the project life cycle as second level decomposition with product and project deliverables inserted into the third level here i will explain one thing before this project and product discussion 
actually your project management is in this way you will understand in more precise way project then there is product and what is project i have explained this thing earlier as well uh, a project is actually your project management with respect to your time your cost your resources your reporting your risk your stakeholder or parties which are involved in that project communication plans your risk plans are already done procurement all these things are procurement okay all these things are project oriented what is product product actually here oil well is the product now if i talk about oil well standards the stages like discovery okay development and implementation those are product oriented things so these two things project oriented and product oriented will merge together all those two things will give combined data of these two items will integrated in the software like primavera p6 as per project management standards to prepare project plan for the people who are on site doing drilling exploration and all that so that's why there are different kind of words product and project we are going to have this second major deliverables as the second level decomposition third incorporating some components that may be developed the advantage of a wbs are many it not only allows for a high level view but can also be broken down into work packages and work package is actually the lowest level of your wbs and include details of required manpower equipment actually when you will make your project at different stages it will be easy for you guys to allocate time resources and all those things which are required for project management and you can also uh, analyze your technical aspects your commercial aspects and financial requirements for that smaller level pro uh, pro uh, project work package and smaller level work package understanding will be easy for you guys as well and then moving on to the next slide the wbs is created with not only the implementation phase of the project in mind which would be the large part of construction and engineering but also shows the high level stages of discovery as well as the development and the next point which is important to assist in the successful implementation and execution of any project the use of interface concepts such as wbs are important to senior executives for decision these tools not only assist the senior executive in making planning decisions but also allow for contingencies contingencies means the assisting policies if something is not in uh, the plan uh, it will not be executed as per plan then what can be the alternative and then but also promote accountability of performance and deliverables you can calculate it. you can calculate your each project deliverable performance independently and can compare with other things you can compare your machinery performance with labor performance with your project management team performance what is the weak area and then you can have this is the wbs oil well construction project there is project management deliverable initiate phase planning phase execution phase monitor and control phase and closing phase you can see in coming slides how i can uh, integrate the product oriented things with project management things so next slide you can have this project management is um, broken down into project charter which is the mechanism which will allow that how it is going to be feasible project management plan all the plan meeting reports progress reports change request risk report lesson learned and project management closing and here you can see initiate phase will comprised of afe authority for expenditures like uh, in this uh, step will be done in initiate phase that who is how much uh, you know are what is the mechanism for the financing for this project uh, prognosis like diagnosis or identification uh, where, where are the identification proofs for the uh, petroleum products uh, findings and then next slide will give you the planning phase in planning phase uh, the rig uh, location will be planned how it will be planned then how rig will be moved 
how drilling plan will be prepared completion plan will be followed by drilling plan then logistic plan then hse plan all these plan uh, plans will be uh, finalized in the planning phase and then in the execution phase you can have platform uh, rehab rig rehab like bef uh, when it's now practically everything is going on then moving rig inspection logistics drilling completion these are the major deliverables which will be done in execution or practical phase and then you have monitor and control phase monitor and control phase is moving rig report okay logistic report drilling engineering report completion report uh, this is moving report hsc report and then closing you know in this you can prepare report and then from this you can establish your kpis key performance indicator which will help you to monitor and control your project and then closing well final report afe closing this one will be closed here and well closing meeting so now in primavera p6 how you can do all those things so i am going to share with you primavera p6 dashboard here we have and one by one i'm going to add wps over here not like this i'll just click on this one here there is another window wps one by one like this 